everyone, and welcome to the Six Five Summit AI Unleashed. I'm Will Townsend. I lead the networking and security practices for More Insights and Strategy. And joining me today is Shi Wong, uh, Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Connectivity Business Unit at Marvell. And we're going to discuss the Intelligent Edge in this special spotlight on the Six Five Summit. Shi, it's a pleasure to talk to you today. Thank you. Well, she, the theme of uh, our topic today is AI in the million XPU era. Let's talk about that a little bit and how important networking is to support modern AI. As we speak, the operators are already deploying um, AI networks with 200,000 of a GPU altogether. And then to support that number of GPUs, you need a fast, low latency, and a big network. And Marvell is a part of the ecosystem partners to support that enablement. And the operators are moving even faster to 1 million XPU altogether. There are a lot of challenges and opportunities for everyone in this industry. And we are continuing to bring innovations such as low latency networks, higher bandwidth optics, and also coherent light technology to enable multi site high bandwidth, large scale networks. And we are very proud to work with all the ecosystem partner to make that a reality. And you can see that in the past, we have announced uh, several new uh, products, but there are more technology that in the kitchen that we are putting. You know, I'm wondering, you know, there's a lot of debate around this, but has AI accelerated the adoption of connectivity or has it just simply changed where it gets used? Well, Definitely, AI has been a huge driver for connectivity. The global market for optical interconnect has doubled since 2020 to nearly $20 billion. And it's expected to double again by 2030. Because of the increasing bandwidth and the growing size and the number of clusters, hyperscalers are deploying more and faster optics. The industry figure is around 18%. AI also jump-started the transition to higher bandwidth optics. Traditional compute servers I.O. bandwidth lag behind the network I.O. bandwidth by at least one generation. However, when you move to AI, the AI server bandwidth leap forward by one generation. So this transition triggered much higher demand for higher bandwidth connectivity. Since AI is also based on parallel computing, the physical dimension of each node also increases. That increase you requires longer distance interconnect. So which is the advantage of using optical transceivers or active electrical cables? The vast majority of connections, three meters or longer, are supported by this technology. This next generation AI will be particularly interesting because we are talking about clusters with 100,000 to 1 million XPUs. So how do you make a fabric with high bandwidth and low latencies while simultaneously improving cost and efficiency? This is where new innovation is needed. On the connectivity side, you can see innovations happening across the board. At the board level, new generations of service I.O. are being deployed and developed at a faster cadence. At the cluster level, optimize electrical and optical solution for each different application scenarios are becoming available. Across locations, we are delivering coherent transmission technology, which was reserved for long haul telecom, but now being used into their center of campuses. So all this innovation and changes has become an enabler for next generation AI. This is not about who has the best accelerator, but who also has the best connectivity solutions. I couldn't agree more, Xi. Um, connectivity is the bedrock to move data around these, uh, these AI models, whether they're large language hosted in the cloud, or as uh, AI moves to network edges, requires the efficient transfer of data. And so that presents a lot of challenges. So I'm wondering from your perspective, what do you see as some of the biggest challenges uh, with respect to uh, network and, and, and just you know, supporting those AI workloads at scale? Oh, indeed. I think first is we will need more GPUs that work together. And we will need a bigger fabric to connect them. 
a cluster with 100,000 GPUs might need 500,000 interconnect along with thousands of servers and switches. A million GPUs could need 10 million interconnect, but collectively span several kilometers. Power could approach a gigawatt. So this transition to higher bandwidth also uh, accelerate. Instead of two times bandwidth every three years, we are doubling every two years. 200 gig per lane interconnect are being deployed with 400 gig per lane on the horizon. So if you look at a system that enables AI, there are two separate and connected network. Scale up that enhances the capacity of a single server or system by combining all the resources together. Scale out bring these servers to the network. In scale up, the overriding concern will be latency, followed by power. Scale up is also a new market for connectivity. We expect lots of innovation happening here in the next few years, such as ultra low latency networks, co packaged optics, and the photonics IOs. In scale out, the big issue is scalability. There, we see potential innovations such as coherent light, 400 gig optics, and we will need to support the new modulation schemes to support all these use cases. Now, those are, those are fascinating insights. And, and from my perspective, there's another dimension to scalability, and it comes with the dramatic increase in the pace of data center build out. So there are commitments around the world just recently in the kingdom around the investment in AI infrastructure to create new use cases, drive new monetization opportunities. I'm wondering from your perspective, what's the industry doing to sort of ease the potential supply chain and management concerns that comes with this hyper growth? Well, this is a very interesting issue. I mean, usually it doesn't get a lot of attention uh, than the power consumptions, right? And then the economics, but it's just as important. Um, I think the short answer is the ecosystem, right? The number and the size of AI cluster have grown rapidly, in part because of the ecosystem. The operator need a flexible and interchangeable solution that scale to support their need. And then if you think about it, the combination of a continual innovation of CMOS and the Evoco electronics technology pushes lower dollar per gig at each generation. And then we are moving from five nanometer to three nanometer technology that improve the power and the cost efficiency. A stable and mature pluggable ecosystem provides flexibility and then scalability, both on the operational side and also the commercial side. So in our mind, this vast uh, network of uh, ecosystem uh, partners that support a pluggable uh, ecosystem is the go-to solution for large-scale network and for them to continue to scale. Yeah, and certainly Marvell is participating in many of these areas. And as we close our discussion, she, I'd like to talk a little bit about um, optics for inside the server or inside the chip. You touched on co-packaged optics. You know, people have been talking about this for decades, but it's still not quite here yet. So will AI accelerate? that whole notion, and how will it manifest itself, do you think, over time? Well, this is a really good question as well, right? So I think things are happening, um, but over time. Uh, currently, the whole system design is focused on disaggregation. Memory processors and networking, they're all positioned in separate domains that are connected together. But there's a strong push that allow this separation to uh, have uh, enable faster transitions and then time to market for new technology. We are expecting and seeing a convergence of the interconnect technology to the endpoints that can facilitate that. So those technology include, as you said, advanced uh, packaging and cinematonics. It all comes down to the implementation of that underlying technology and where you pull them together. This consideration must be done at the overall system level, including thermal, power, cost, time to market, and ease of operation. The semiconductor industry, like where we are in, has always been enabling higher level of integration at the right TCO intersection point. So this time for uh, updates going inside the server won't be any different. That is our will. Yeah, and I, you know, you touched on power. That's one of the biggest concerns that, that enterprises are facing right now, just the immense power that it takes to um, support these, these modern AI workloads. And 
Marvell is doing a lot of work in that regard, providing higher degrees of performance while also bringing that power consumption down to make AI infrastructure more sustainable. But um, with that, she, I just want to thank our audience for joining this Intelligent Edge Spotlight at the 6.5 Summit. Stay connected with us on social media and explore more conversations at 65media.com backslash summit. More insights are coming up next.